All right, we're with Dennis. He is an Android user and he's having some problems with his app. Signe has recently done an update um, to their app and it, some people are having some trouble with it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete it, reinstall it, and then kind of pair things all over again. So come on over and have a look. Um, so here is his app. On his phone, what we're gonna do is push and hold and then we're gonna hit app info. And so what we can do then is uninstall the app. It asks just to be sure, so we'll say okay. And so we're gonna let that go ahead and delete. Um, what we'll do next then is go to the Play Store. Once I find it, here it is. So in the Google Play Store, let's see, we're gonna sit, hit, we're gonna search for Signia, so S-I-G-N-I-A. And this should bring up this Signia app with the red S. So we'll go ahead and install that and we'll give it a minute here to actually download that. So it's going real fast, which is nice. I would recommend um, plugging into Wi-Fi for this so you're using internet and not cellular data, it'll go faster. So you can see there it's installing, so we'll just give it a second here. All right, so then if, sorry, oh, there we go. So I'm going to go back to his main page here. So here's the app. The other thing we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and delete his Bluetooth pairing. So if I swipe down, I can hit this gear icon, and then we're going to go into connected devices. And then in Bluetooth, we should see um, Dennis's hearing aids here. So I'm gonna hit unpair, and then I'm gonna do the same thing and hit unpair. So what that does is it kind of deletes them from the phone. Um, and so then we're going to restart his hearing aids. He's got a battery powered device, so this is real easy. You just open the battery door, close it, open and close the other one. If you've got rechargeable ones, you can push and hold this bottom button. I give it about a five count and they'll power off, let go, push and hold again, give it about a five count and they'll start up. Um, you can also put them in your charger, give them a second to start that charge cycle and then take them off, they'll restart. And then we've got about three minutes where they're in pairing mode. And so what I can do is I'm actually on his Bluetooth tab here, gonna hit refresh. And so it's gonna look for devices and it's finding a whole bunch of stuff. Um, so I'm gonna try with Android, they're all, there's a lot of different Android protocols. I'm gonna try to do this through the app first. So we're gonna go ahead and launch this. It'll take a second to load the program. And then once it does, we should be able to connect using Bluetooth. So we'll accept the terms. And then I'm gonna hit, from my connection options here, I'm gonna hit Bluetooth and we'll hit proceed. We're gonna allow it. So in order for the Bluetooth to work, it's asking for location services. Um, this isn't so it can track you or anything like that. Um, the phone has really good information in it. So if the hearing aids can look at the GPS on the phone and see that you're going 50 miles an hour, they know, hey, we should probably be in our car mode. Um, so by using some of the data on the phone, it's able to then help the hearing aids make better, under, better decisions about how to help you and how to understand the world that is around them. So... Let's see. Oh, here we go. So it's found the left one and the right one. I'm going to hit go. It's going to go through a few steps. Bonding the hearing aids is where it is actually kind of pairing with them. And then it will read out all the different information and settings on the hearing aids. Um, keep your hearing aids close to the phone while it does this. That way they're not getting any interference or anything like that. So you can see it's on step six of six, and then it's ready to go. So the one thing that is new 
is it's got independent volume control. Mm. So this is pretty neat. It's also got this new discover screen where if you hit this, it's going to explain to you what your volume adjustment is, sound balance, and then also your directional hearing. So we'll go ahead and close this. So you've got independent right and left volume, or if you hit this button, it's going to merge them together and then it con controls both. So go ahead, Dennis, and we'll have you sure. put on that right one. And there is the left. So okay. then, so you can see it, it's this button here. Okay. So that's where you get independent right okay. and left volume. Right, and that's right. really handy if, you know, you're trying to hear somebody on the passenger side of the car or um, you've got something real loud on one side, you can actually turn down. Yeah, and that's why I can't the see you because of going on a long road yeah. trip in the car. Yeah, so oh. that's how to, at least in general, pair an Android device, delete uh -huh. the, the program, put it back on, um, try it. You're welcome to call us. If you're still having trouble, we're happy to help you. All right. Thank you very much.